Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Not So Super Fan. And right now I'm just going to talk about the Netflix series, Dear White People. Oh man, I remember when the little teaser came out, how people were just being ridiculous about it. Certain people were just being very ridiculous about it. Even YouTubers were very, just being ridiculous about it. We had YouTubers just posting videos talking about how it's race baiting, how it's this, how it's that, how... Racism ended when Obama got elected. What kind of stu that was real stupid, and it was some of the things they were posting were just disgusting. People were talking about oh, they're gonna delete their Netflix account, but they never watched the show. How you never watch something just because of the title, you gonna assume certain things, you know? Yes, the show deals with racism, but do you never watched it? The show dealt with every individual character that was part of it. Having to be black and having white friends and just being accepted by them and t how they take little jabs at you that are offensive, but having to accept them because you want to be accepted by them, but also having to deal with your black friend because you, the way you talk, if you talk proper, they don't feel like you're black enough. Then having to be black and trying to move up the career ladder or make somebody some some name out of yourself and dealing with certain white people that don't understand all they know is money talk, but they don't really care about you and dealing with race. And black people seeing you trying to move up, but they don't think you don't care. The show deals with that. And this character that don't both those things I just described, this character that's struggling with that. And having to do with the black community. Then having to be black and gay and being accepted by the black community. Because in a way, it is taboo in the black community just being gay. Especially if you're from the island or Africa. Certain, it is very taboo if you're from the island or certain place in Africa. Then it's just also being black and being in an interracial relationship. And black, how certain black people feel like if you black, you should just date black. Because if you date another race, you betraying your race. And just having to deal with that and having, just trying to be an activist at the same time, you know, fighting for your race. But certain people feel like just because you have white, you get special treatment. And the show deals with that. But nobody bothered to watch it because they were too busy listening to those dumbass YouTubers posting stupid um, videos and stupid articles then having to be black and just half white because certain black people feel like if you just because they're half black their skin is not black enough they're not black but at the end of the day any white person will look at you like you're still black then you have black people who never experience racism once in their life, who when they finally experience it, they don't know what to do or how to act, what to say. And the show deals with that. But nobody bothered to watch it because they were too busy once again watching these dumbass YouTubers and reading those dumbass articles. It is a good show. It deals with that. Having to either be an activist, you know, going to protest, you know, Speaking, you're speaking now, and people feeling threatened because you're trying to speak out. And the show deals with that. Okay, it happens. Black Lives Matter movement, people were threatened by it. They thought all of them were thugs. And not, I'm not saying there are some black people that don't react differently to when it comes to racism because there are some kids out there and black people out there that will not take it anymore. You know, it's not the 60s or 50s or 30s no more. You know, back in the days, they just took it. They took, took the beating. Nowadays, you have black people. You say some racist shit to them, they will smack the fuck out you. Excuse my language, but that's true. Certain black people don't accept that shit no more. And that, that only goes for black people. There is black people that Arabs that will not take this racist shit anymore. Then it's just in the way in the show having, you know, 
a white person trying to understand how it is to be black, you know, what it is like to be racist. Because I'm not saying all white people are racist, but they're all white people out there that goes out there and march with black people, you know, that deals with racism because they are. There are some white people that are just ignorant of it. They don't know what, nothing about racism. They might do something or say something that's racist, but they don't understand that it's racist. And when you get offended, they don't understand why. That's why sometimes it takes time to sit down and talk and listen. But nobody bothered to watch the show because they were too busy, like once again, watching those dumbass YouTubers posting dumbass videos and reading those dumbass articles. Excuse my language again. And at the end of the day, it was just a good show. You know, the acting was great. The cast was great, white and black. It was all good. And I suggest to anybody who has a Netflix account to watch it. If you on torrent, go ahead and download it. If you're not willing to pay that $7.99, go ahead. Watch it because it is that good of a show. And I'm hoping they bring it back for a second season. It is good. And I suggest to anybody to watch it. It's not all about the race issue. It's about these people just dealing with the race side. But also having to deal with their own personal life. Because that stuff... That stuff affect them. Because even though some of them want to fight, but they don't, it affects them personally in their personal life, you know, relationship, career, school. You know, it affects them. Parent. Because some parents don't want their kids out there protesting and risking getting shot or hurt. And the show deals with that. But nobody never bothered, those some people never bothered to watch because they were too busy. Once again, Watching those dumbass YouTubers posting dumbass videos and reading those dumbass articles. Sometimes there are movies out there that uh, like typecast, but nobody makes noise about it. The black people get typecast a lot for the same role, gangster, the comedy relief, the token black friend, the one that gets killed first. It happens. Know what? But once every every few movie that comes out, they want to speak out about something. People make noise. People get offended. Why? Hmm. But nobody want to sit down and listen. And that goes for black people too. Sometimes you have to sit down and explain to certain white people, you know, what racism is, how you feel, how it affects you. If both sides are willing to do certain things, maybe something change. Because I don't know what to do. I experienced racism before, but I wouldn't know how to approach it. Somebody who dealt more in depth with that with me would know how to approach it. But at the end of the day, we all live in the same planet. <laughs> Let me, I'm going to stop getting into deal tell with this and talk about the show. The show is good. The cast is great. And I suggest to anybody white like I said before, white, black, Hispanic, a rap to watch the show because it is good. Stop listening to the stupid articles and just go ahead and watch the show. You know, don't don't delete your account just because of the title of the show, you know? It is good. Well, guys, that was kind of my review for Dear White People. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, Not So Super Fan, and I will be seeing y'all soon.